put the place up Yeah, we know what we made of Can't get enough for you, fool, I'm a chaser Slow motion is cool and everybody knows that. That's also why it's heavily overused these days. But since we love it so much and we use speed changes all the time, today I'm gonna show you how you can play with speed using speed ramps. To enable speed ramping, go to the very left of your clip and look for the effects box. Right click on that box and then choose time remapping and speed. Now you can see a line in the middle of your clip and that line represents a speed of exactly 100% which means that you see your clip as you originally filmed it. Basically, if you drag this line up, your clip will be faster and if you drag it down, your clip will be slower. But you always have to remember which frame rate you filmed in, otherwise it will look choppy. The cool thing about speed ramping is that you can't just make your clip slow or fast, but also create really smooth transitions between those speeds. And that's how you can make your clips look really powerful and interesting. To create a speed ramp, go to the very left of your timeline and click on the keyframe button to mark the point where you want your speed change to happen. If you can't see the keyframe button, simply double click on your video layer. As soon as you hit the keyframe button, you can see a marker appear in your clip. What we did now is create an instant speed change at the point you chose. To create a smooth transition, you need to pull either the left part of the arrow-like looking marker to the left, or the right part to the right. If you play that back now, you can see a perfectly smooth speed ramp. That's it for today's tutorial. Today I showed you how you can play with speeds and make your shots look more interesting. Now help us help more people and subscribe to our channel and leave a comment if you have any questions.